Hello everyone. I saw this article on protecting Google Compute Engine with Cloud Identity Aware Proxy IPA in short, which was released on 22nd of January 2019. Reading through this article, I found this feature removes the need of external IP address or public IP address or a dedicated bastion host, which made me super excited about this feature. And I wanted to try this feature and hence thought of sharing a demo video with you all. So let's see protecting Google Compute Engine with Cloud IP in action. Let's create a compute engine with a name GCE-Cloud-IPA and make sure this virtual machine does not have external IP address. By clicking on networking, click on the default uh, VPC and make sure external IP address is none. Click done, click create. The virtual machine is provisioned in Asia South 1-A zone and you can quickly see that there's no external IP address. Let's SSH into this machine using gcloud command. Let's hit enter. I have already set the zone region project by default. So that's the reason the command is very short and you can see a message. It does not have an external IP address. Hence, it does not work. Now, the magic of cloud IPA comes into picture now. To run this, make sure you already have your cloud SDK up to date. Just run this command, gcloud components, update, hit enter, and you should see a message. Your SDK is all up to date. If this is good, just run the same command. I'm going to do this one. It's a beta command currently. And make sure you add a flag called tunnel through IPA. That's it. Hit enter should see the magic happening in a minute or so. You see, you are able to SSH into that machine. All good. That's it. So you may ask, I have not done any changes to IPA, but by default, when you add any VMs, the owner is part of the members of the Cloud IPA, so hence because of which things are working. Now, if you click on SSH and TCP resource, you should see, click on that specific virtual machine. You should see the owner already been added. This is because of which things started working without doing any change in your identity aware proxy. Hope the video was useful. Thanks for watching.